We are, we are honored that Don and Shelley Rubin have selected Oglethorpe for the world premiere of this amazing exhibition. This is the seventh exhibition that Oglethorpe and the Rubens have done together uh, in our museum, um, all of them with an international focus. Oglethorpe's relationship with, with Donald and Shelley is a very special one, and, and uh, as I said, this is a, this is a small museum. Um, but one of the things that we're able to do, because it's a small museum, is, is to devote the entire museum to a, to a spectacular collection um, you know, over the course of a season. And the Rubens have been incredibly generous with Oglethorpe and have not only allowed us to show the art that they've collected, but to premiere the art that they've collected. The Shelley and Donald Rubin collection is one of the most unique and important collections, I think, in the U.S. today. One of the most important things about it is that it gathers together images of people of the subcontinent. And this allows us as viewers who perhaps aren't as familiar with India to have an intimate relationship with a wide variety of Indian characters and goddesses and people from, from that region. Um, so what this show does is it pulls out those characters and allows you to see them in all of their diversity. It's the artists that appear in this show are some of the most important Indian artists of the last two to three generations from South Asia. We have M.F. Hussein and F.N. Souza, both of whom would be considered among the Picassos of India or the Jackson Pollocks of India. We have women artists who reshaped the subcontinent's art starting in the 1970s and 1980s, who would be equivalent to Georgia O'Keeffe or Frida Kahlo. These are top, top names. and. The fact that we don't know them is in part what this show is trying to fix. Donald graduated from Oglethorpe um, a little over 50 years ago. And in fact, his, his residence hall room was, uh, was in the museum, was not a museum back then. And he, when he comes to visit, he uh, finally points to the window where, uh, where he looked out and studied. And he's been a, a wonderful philanthropist and, and uh, to the university uh, over, over decades. So this has been a wonderful opportunity for Oglethorpe to, to get to know a, another community uh, in Atlanta, the Indo-American community, which has been thriving here for decades. One of the wonderful things about this exhibition is it spans over 60 years. And so what you'll find in the show is a wide range of approaches to how to depict a human or divine figure. Uh, there's no consistent style here. You have everything from things that will remind you of Cubism or other European expressionist movements from the early 20th century. You'll also th see things that might remind you of techniques that you would find more appropriately in printmaking as opposed to painting, even though we're looking at paintings. You'll find really intimate, beautiful drawings and brightly colored graphic uh, large canvases. The other thing that we get to see are some of the up-and-coming artists from India and from the region who are contributing an amazing amount of um, energy and optimism and excitement to the new globalizing world that we're living in and really are producing a, a transnational like art, a art that is seen all over the globe, they travel all over the globe, and so what we're seeing here is art that's not just over there in India, but actually art that's very much global. For a very, very long time, we have dismissed a lot of this work in this show. And one of the things I hope this show does is, is demonstrate to those who come to see it how important modern and contemporary Indian art is. Not as a derivative art that only looks to the West, but as its own entity. It stands on its own two feet, and it's very important to understand where it's coming from in terms of the population of India and all of its diversity. I think that this exhibit shows Atlantans and shows everyone who comes to see it how vibrant and important the art of the last 60 or so years from India and the surrounding regions is. Everyone who comes to see this exhibit will find something that speaks to them. Not just something that speaks to them from far, far away, but something that I think speaks to them very intimately and might even connect to them on a personal level. Part of that is because all of the paintings in the show have people in them, and so you can see yourself a little bit in those people. The show is about the daily struggles of Indians and the daily victories of Indians. But in those small moments, we often find our own victories and our own struggles. 
So this painting by Seema Kohli is a wonderful example of her work. She's very much into a bold graphic statement at a distance, and so at a distance we see this wonderful woman almost being swallowed by a fish, and it's sort of, she feels like maybe she's a mermaid or maybe she's not, and it's very um, interesting. It draws you in from afar. Once you get close, there's all of these small details on the painting. Most of them have to do with Vishnu, one of the major three gods from India. Vishnu has an avatar named Krishna, and you can see him in the painting playing the flute surrounded by cows. He's traditionally a cow herd. So you have this lovely bucolic little scene in the body of the fish um, that is seemingly swallowing this woman. Um, and she's playing with a lot of different spiritual traditions from India. And she herself, in her artist statement, talks about how deeply she feels these spiritual traditions and how integrated they are with her identity, as a, particularly as a woman and as an Indian woman. So Oglethorpe has planned a comprehensive set of events that will last uh, for a little more than 60 days while this exhibition is with us. And throughout the exhibition, uh, we've got lectures scheduled and music scheduled and other dance events. And, and so it really is a, it's a, a wonderful way for Oglethorpe to, to welcome the spring. Oglethorpe celebrating its 176th anniversary this year, and the museum has just celebrated its 25th anniversary. And we've, we've done um, a number of things to make sure that the art that's shown, uh, we, we usually have two or three special collections that, that are shown a year, that that art is integrated into the curriculum. There's a great sort of synchronicity with the, with the exhibition that we're showing now and this new program that we've just created. It's a postgraduate fellowship program for students uh, who graduate not just from Oglethorpe, but we've got students from Emory, students from Harvard, students from Berkeley who will have the opportunity to spend a year in India on a social business fellowship. These artists are part of an international art scene, part of a transnational art movement, and we need to incorporate them into that story a little bit more directly. And I hope that this exhibition starts that dialogue uh, and, and helps to push that forward.